I usually start my project by looking for inspiration from what is already there at the site. In this case, the student union provided me with a public that are active learners. While the sun's strong presence at this outdoor site set the theme, and the music department nearby provided the conceptual tool for the search. The basic idea is there is harmony and dissonances everywhere in the universe. And sometimes these opposites meet, like in the case of the musical oddity called the Pythagoras Coma, where the seventh octave of any musical pitch that slightly mismatches its 12 perfect fifth progression, while in theory they should match up. With the coma in mind, I searched into the solar theme and found that our sun actually hums out its fundamental mode of oscillation continuously, powered by its convection, and sends out waves of energy that bathes the entire solar system. This 3.4 microhertz hum of its fundamental mode of oscillation is musically the tonal center of our sun. First of all, I needed two bells tuned to the fundamental modes of the sun's hum in the audible range, but they have to be exactly one comma apart in frequencies. I only found two factories that can help me with this, one in Australia and one in Holland, and I picked the Dutch one to have them cast. So now I have two bells. One is tuned at 1782.6 Hertz at the 19th octave pitch of the sun's tonal center. And the west bell is tuned one comma interval apart from the east bell at 1870 Hertz. The bells are then embedded within a seven foot diameter resonator with a knob on the east and the west side of the resonator envelop. The public can ring out the sun's tonal center by pushing in any one of the two knobs. But if you want to hear the sun's coma, you will need a collaborator and ring both bells at the same time. Only then will the coma be audible. The artwork is a hands-on interactive generator of the solar coma as an audiovisual monument to the sun. But most importantly, it is a monument to our curiosity.